So are you sick and tired of Lady of Crypto telling you how she 400 x her money in the last crypto bull run and you didn't? Are you sick and tired of the relentless and repetitive 10x next top crypto in the next bull run crypto YouTube videos and are really looking for something more? Maybe a thousand x. Well, you've come to the right place, obviously, because that's why you clicked on the video. Because we took every single crypto token from CoinGecko's entire database and sorted it by the craziest, most degenerate things to put your money in. And that cut these 23,000 tokens down to just 36. And this video series is revealing 10 of those tokens which have the tiniest, teeniest speck of a chance to thousand x. But before we get into the juicy content, you need to know this is part two of a three part series. And if you haven't seen part one, it is critical that you go and watch it right now. I'll put it in the link in the description. I'll put it on the screen everywhere I can. Open it in a new tab and meet me back here after you watch it. And seriously, go watch it. There's a lot of context that I need to describe there as well as revealing the first three tokens in the portfolio, including one of them that has two X in the last couple of days. And if you've already seen part one, hit that like button down below for me, put on your DGen hat and let's jump in. Now, the only reason that I'm making this 1000X DGen portfolio series is due to the hundreds of degenerates that commented on our original video saying that they wanna see this. And I'm not gonna spend any more energy telling you how stupid you must be to put your money anywhere close to any one of these things. I'm definitely not proud of this series. And if I was personally gonna put any of my money into any of these projects, I would feel nothing but shame. And anyone who's commenting anything like this, I mean, in the first video, we literally ranked this as more risky and dangerous than Bernie Madoff's Ponzi. So if I'm promoting anything, it's do not put your money in if you ever want to see it again. But that being said, if you took your money out of Bernie Madoff's Ponzi at the right time, you would have had a hell of a return. And so if you're still interested in this degenerate portfolio, let's jump in starting with the fourth token overall in this portfolio. Fourth token is called Bomb Crypto. Now this is a degen of degen tokens with a teeny tiny market cap of just $500,000 fully diluted. It's currently priced at half a cent and Bomb Crypto is mind-blowingly down 99.4% from the peak of last year at a eight hundred and forty million dollar fully diluted market cap. You can think of Bomb Crypto as an old prize stallion of a racehorse, used to win all the cups back in bull mania, but now has retired and seems to be forgotten in the stables. But they do have over 652,000 token holders and 182,000 people watching the token on coin market cap. Which to put that in context, there's only 240,000 people watching a massive project like Steppen. The Bomb Crypto game also has over 100,000 downloads on the Google Play Store and the game is very rudimentary and inspired by the popular 1983 hit Bomberman. And Bomb Crypto has still maintained the 80s simplicity of the gameplay and mechanics, but their Web3 integration with a play to own crypto and decentralized NFT play integration did attract a lot of fans. But why they're on our portfolio list is very important because yes, they most likely are a forgotten racehorse who will never see the light of day of a racetrack ever again, down over 99% and over $840 million, but they are still active on Twitter they're still active on YouTube. They're still hosting gaming events. They're even posting daily and introducing new characters and lore into the gameplay. I mean, that's some resilience. And this resilience gives a small glimmer of hope that we could be onto something that could be more long-term. And so we threw 10% of that into the degenerate portfolio. But like I outlined in the first video, this is called the 1000X degen portfolio, but in reality, it's mostly clickbait. There are no 1000x Ethereum killers that I've seen down in these dungeons yet. And if something like Bomb Crypto was to double or triple and get up to a one or $2 million market cap, there's over 600,000 token holders who have lost a lot of money, who I'm sure would be rushing to give this project a lot of sell pressure and really cap the game. So if this old racehorse ever got even the slightest sniff of a meadow ever again, I think it would be back to the stables pretty quickly. But that takes us to the fifth token in this DGen crypto portfolio, a name that might be familiar. And currently it's definitely on a very similar trend to Bomb Crypto, down over 99%. The token is called Defina Finance, or you may have heard it being pronounced Definia by Mr. Alex Becker. Definia hit a really solid all-time high and Becker had it in his list of crypto recommendations at an average price of $1.70. And right now it's under two and a half cents. Another reminder, this is an extremely risky game, but of course it could just be a good potential opportunity because it has a fully diluted market cap of just 2.4 million. But what does Definia even do? Well, Definia Finance is an online blockchain game that utilizes and combines decentralized finance, DeFi, and NFTs to allow players to own their gaming assets and monetize them through playing and training. Defina's vision is to bring blockchain to millions of players by allowing them to explore a new form of gaming through this blockchain technology. It does currently have a working game, 
and the devs are continuing to keep this updated despite its downfall. But projects like this always have clear areas that they could improve. From the number of players that are actually interested in a game like this, to building out the graphics and aesthetic to be a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And so we threw 10% of that into the degenerate portfolio. But the reason Dafina Finance is in this crypto portfolio is not due to fundamental. It's simply because Dafina Finance is another social arbitrage play. And the very clear and strong project narrative that Dafina has going for them is that they had Alex Becker recommend their token a countless amount of times in the last bull market. And if he ever mentions them again, especially when the markets are heading upwards, you could see this market cap increase very quickly. So what are the chances that Beckett actually tweets about Dafina or puts it into his YouTube videos during a bull cycle? Well, to be honest, pretty damn small. But he did actually tweet at Dafina just last month. And I mean, Alex Becker simply liked a tweet that talked about the crypto game Compete and it 4 x in just a couple of weeks. And there's only a handful of reasons why Dafina couldn't do the same. And since social narrative and crypto influencer copy trading has historically proven to be one of the most powerful crypto strategies, we use a simple influencer buy alert software so you know exactly when an influencer like Gary V, Elio Trades, and Alex Becker buy a crypto or even an NFT project. Because the mainstream crypto audience who always seem to be just slightly too late to the pumps are waiting for influencers like Alex Becker to either tweet or make a YouTube video about these tokens. And then they're left with no chance but to FOMO their way in without even even researching the token for themselves. But if you're able to track all of Becker's decentralized wallets across all the major chain, you'll see exactly when he buys into a new project and have time to research it yourself and see if you want to get in. So if you want a supportive Web3 community, influencer buy alerts and cheat sheets and crunchy breakdowns into upcoming projects that will save you weeks of research, you can get access to all of this in our Patreon. I'll leave the link in the description below for those of you interested in joining. And that takes us to the sixth token in our DGEN portfolio. It's called Parax. Now, as far as I can see, Parax is available both on the Binance Smart Chain and it's also its own layer one. Parax aims to have hundreds of projects on the chain that they created. And it's advancing towards that goal with a unique method in its mining structure, which is the whole philosophy that this project is actually built around. Because you actually have to burn PRX to mine in the Parax ecosystem. You can only produce it by burning. Thus, Parax is advertising that they are a deflationary token. They also celebrate being an identityless, Web3 and decentralized blockchain chain ecosystem. Parrax say they have a big ecosystem with over 40,000 users, their own wallet, an exchange, an app, a swap, a decentralized app, and more. Of course, it's built on the Parrax chain EVM, which they describe as fast, structured, and completely community-driven. And cool enough, all the income collected from the Parrax ecosystem is redistributed back to the community. Now, clearly, Parrax is not going to be an Ethereum killer, and it has quite a few red flags, including spelling mistakes and broken links on their website. And the other sad news is Parrax is already up a clean 2x since we talked about it inside our Patreon community when we dropped the entire list of the 36 tokens. So the market cap is creeping up there in terms of size and might not even be considered a micro cap anymore. It's currently at a $3 million market cap with a fully diluted market cap as far as I can understand because the tokenomics are complex so please double check this one of $10 million. It only has a reported $7,000 of trading volume which is a bit sus and so we threw 10% of that into the degenerate portfolio. And if you want to see the next four tokens in this portfolio, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next one.